Hello everyone, today sucks. Hello everyone, today sucks, my finished object, and this is the first time ever I knitted socks with two colours, okay? So basically those stripes are made by myself, basically. And uh, what else I can say, it's a toe-up sock, so that was really cool because I basically could decide whenever I want to finish knitting and up till that moment I figure out that I think that's it. I think this is the longest socks um, I can have, although I still had some yarn left. This is what I have, this is a flame and this is a gum colour and more about what kind of yarn it is now. It is KPC yarn and this yarn is from Hong Kong so even though I don't travel that much I can kind of feel that I visit that place. So what I used. Let's classify it as we have a red and a blue color. The red color is Nova Marina 4 ply 100% ultra fine merino wool and it's a 50 gram. And then I have Glencoe 4 ply which is 70% merino wool, 30% cotton and that's a gum color. Woo! And those two balls came with this lovely piece of fabric, let's call it that way. So I can do something with it. Basically how I got in, uh, how I got this yarn was that KPC contacted me ages ago and they sent me amazing uh, package and I still have some yarn over here and I promised you to give you a bit away and I think in the next episode I will do that. I will add some extras to the next episode so I know you're waiting for ages but be patient. So just to show you how the balls look like, um, and they look like this. They're pretty cute, they have a bow, different sizes, because different balls. Anyway, I'll leave link up here, here, for you to check the other video if you're interested. What I got, and let's start talking about my socks. Maybe first let me tell you about Needles. Two of my needles that I use, uh, I have Haya Haya Sharps 2.25 millimeters. I want to get another kind of pair just to compare. I have a go with different brands, but that's probably way, way in the future. But uh, I'll maybe leave a few photos over here so you can have an idea what kind of uh, needles I used. So, and how did I use it? So I basically knit those two socks, two at a time, basically means that I had started working <laughs> working from toes up and I had one set of circular needles I use 100 centimeters wire which is around 41 42 inches and basically I worked with uh, at the beginning with the red color so just I had two balls for each sock and then I had to add a blue one so at the end of the day I was working with four of balls and I was a little bit frightened that it's going to get mixed up so badly that I won't be able to you know untangle stuff but I was lucky enough that once I got to this part it got a little bit tangled but I figured out that I'm going to chop it off and just stay with the red one to create to create a heel and the heel is a fish lips kiss heel is a paint pattern so yeah you go for it it's like one euro and 20 cents I think um, and then I added the blue one and I was going up and I think at this point somewhere over here I had to chop it off because it got a little bit too much for me too tangled and one day I think I posted this thing this photo when I was in bed and trying to figure things out uh, and I had to chop it off and I went up to here I think during car knitting um, maybe another video over here so you can have a go and I finished them during that trip so I was a delighted so more about the structure normally when you work um, with the two socks at a time you pick up one side, like basically I knitted this on 64 stitches, so 32 stitches on each side and basically you pick one that you want to have um, a heel there and you work on those sides but because 
I wasn't really going so fancy with um, um, making sure that the lines with when I change colors are even. So you could see it over here. They're not in line. You can do it to make it in line, but I had four balls, people, and I couldn't have more patience. Do you get me? So I figured out that that section, I want to have it inside when I walk. So basically, this will be my right. This is inside. So let's say that's my right leg. And then I have my left one. So this is beautiful. This is a little bit ugly one. And then they're going in together. So to do that, I figure out that I'm going to make a heel on one side. And when I was going back on the other sock on the other side and that way I ended up with this idea so I don't I have a nice side nice side and not so much insides oh yeah and the ribbing is 2-2 and that's basically it follow me on Instagram because basically at some point when it's going to be a little bit cooler I will put them on and definitely stick my feet up and take a photo of them check me on Instagram. So yeah, in regards to this yarn, what I can say, it's definitely not a sock yarn. So I'm a little bit afraid that it's going to wear off quickly, but the pleasure knitting, um, it was unbelievable. There, it's, it's so soft and it's from Hong Kong. It's like, it's foreign. It's exciting, I think. So uh, yeah, I would really recommend that if, uh, if you want to yarn travel a bit. Um, that yeah, you can go and do that. I like to buy yarn travel. I try to buy yarn from Germany. I already bought some. I bought from Ireland. I bought from Poland. I need to still buy something from USA. I haven't got that. I know I got a present. I think that's, no, that's Italian. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. Anyway, so I think that's quite cool. And this is, I can classify as my Hong Kong socks. Is there anything else you need to know? My foot is size 6. It's not that bad. So you could see how much longer the calf is. So yeah, I really like to knit from the toes up. But the only thing I'm not a fan of is my cast off. It's kind of wobbly. But um, I think there is some kind of Judy's stretching bind off if I'm right. So I need to try that out. It's about not going to knit all the time when you bind off, but I think I will go like to knit to furrow bind off um, thing. I haven't seen it, but I just presume that's what it's about because that would be a cool idea. So they're mine. I'm so happy to have them. Thank you so much for sending me that lovely yarn. And check it out if you haven't. This is the website. And I hope to see you next time! If you want to follow my adventures, go definitely on Instagram. And I hope to see you next time. Bye! Don't forget to like and subscribe. It is amazing. It came off so good. I'm so happy about it. This is going to be my winter set. Definitely. <laughs>